Now to Eric Reidenauer. The man prosecutors say set fire to the St. Stephen's Episcopal Church and the First Presbyterian Church in Douglas. Now the prosecution is arguing he should not be released, saying testimony they gathered shows he is a danger to the community. Right now we're in court today. There's nine hundred sides. Craig Smith also in the courtroom just got out. Craig, what can you tell us? Well, just in the past couple of minutes, Magistrate Judge Lynette Kimmings uh, did in fact agree with the prosecutors that uh, Eric Ridenauer should not be released on bond. No bond at all in this case. Uh, she found more persuasive the prosecution arguments that uh, he did exhibit dangerous behavior and that there's considerable fear uh, in the church communities of Douglas and in Douglas in general. Now, uh, a lot of this was outlined in advance in a, uh, an extensive memo that the prosecution filed. Let's go ahead and go right to uh, something that describes what's in that right now. Filings in the case against Eric Ridenauer suggest he burned two historic Douglas churches because he objected to one being led by a woman and the other being led by a gay man. St. Stephen's Episcopal Church is led by an openly gay pastor. First Presbyterian has a female pastor. Both churches were badly damaged in fires May 23rd. Prosecutors say Eric Ridenauer was caught on surveillance setting fires to the churches. They say a dog trained to detect fire accelerants confirmed they were present on some of Ridenauer's clothes. In court documents prepared for discussion on whether Ridenauer should be released on bond, prosecutors made new allegations to support their argument that Ridenauer is dangerous and a risk to jump bond and disappear. Prosecutors say congregation members of the burned churches and other churches in Douglas are afraid of Ridenauer and fear additional danger if he is released on bond. Prosecutor filings say neighbors to Ridenauer said he believes, quote, women should not be preaching or leading in prayer and that he, quote, didn't like gays, didn't like politicians, and didn't like women in general leading the church. Prosecutors say Ridenauer even built his own church building near his home on the edge of Douglas. Prosecutors also claim two years ago, a man who fits Ridenauer's description visited St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, asked whether the Episcopal Church allows women to be church leaders, and took pictures of the church interior. To bolster the claim Ridenauer will be a threat if out on bond, prosecutors also claim Ridenauer had a conviction for kicking down an ex-girlfriend's door and was arrested for violating protective order, pouring sugar into an ex-girlfriend's gas tank, and threatening to beat up the man an ex-girlfriend was now engaged to in a dispute over child custody. Now, right now, his defense attorneys argue that prosecutors had to reach back more than 25 years to find those instances of domestic violence uh, that we just described a minute ago. And they said that he has had a peaceable uh, history in Douglas and in Arizona in general since. They argued that he was a good candidate for bond and that could perhaps be controlled through something like an ankle bracelet. However, the judge found the prosecution's uh, arguments much more persuasive, found a ankle bracelet would not be a, a uh, practical way to monitor his actions and ruled that he will be held without bond while he waits for trial. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Tucson, Craig Smith, KGA 9 on your side.